two overs. In this almost in his second innings. Chris Gale has the strike. He's had the majority of it. Matthew Hoggart to him. Punched away through the onside. He does time that ball well through there. Just feel England are missing a trick here. They didn't swing in the first innings for the first few overs. Why not wind up Andrew Flintoff and let him loose for a few overs with a hard new ball? And then it, let Matthew Hoggard come back when the varnish is off. Maybe he'll swing. At the moment, it's not swinging. Michael Bourne has at least put another man on the onside, though. He has brought Robert Key back into that square leg position because at times Chris Gill does loft the ball in that region. Well, that one's hammered through the offside this time. Made the adjustment as far as the line was concerned, Matthew Hoggard, but perhaps just a fraction too full. And as Ian Botham said, with the ball not swinging, you certainly cannot afford to be bowling that length. Those are easy runs. Another great shot. Three fours of the first three balls. Oh, well, that's a very good shot. Off the back foot, powerfully punching it through the offside. Found the gap again. That has forced Michael Vaughan to make quite a few field changes now. There's a man dropping out behind Square on the onside. A lot of protection now going out onto the boundary areas. Just two slips, no gully. There were two gullies at one point. Well, can't stop it. I think the next thing that's going to stop is the rope. It's four in a row. I think you'll get your wish after this over, Beefy. I think Matthew Hoggard will be out of the attack. Just surprised that England didn't do it earlier. It didn't swing. It's often the way, though, with these cricket balls now. It won't swing until you get your own sweat into it and the varnish is off. Oh, that could be four more. Well, that's five in a row. Now, what are you saying now, Mikey? Is it going to happen? Well, Chris Gill is a boundary hitter. That's the one thing that everyone knows about Chris Gill. He likes the boundaries. Six fours. Thirty-four without loss. He's a four-man. He loves those boundaries, Chris Gale. Well, just watch this and enjoy it. It's the first man that's ever hit all six balls for four in an over in Test cricket history. Oh, it's entertaining. I've lost count. How many's Chris Gale got now? 33 not out. How many balls has he faced? 14. We have to wonder what Sylvester Joseph's doing then, Mike. He's got one off five. Well, with Chris Gale scoring as freely as that, he certainly doesn't have to do too much, Sylvester Joseph. Because, as Ian Botham said, the first man in the history of the game to hit 
all six deliveries in an over for four. There have been seven ball overs that have gone for more. Painful. There have also been six ball overs that have been gone for more, but they have included sixes. There haven't been six fours of six deliveries in and over in test match cricket. Well, since records that were have been kept.